Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we have some interesting updates coming from the folks at Deep Motion. Deep Motion, the creators of Animate 3D, real-time body tracking, VR tracking, and also Motion Brain. And since the last time we talked about Animate 3D, they've been a tremendous and massive update. They've come over to this tool and right now the version 2.6 is available. And today we're going to simply take a look at these things and see how this works. And just in case you want to follow up with this, link is going to be in the description so that you can do well to check it out. And to get this going, all you need to do is go over to deepmotion.com, go over to the product section and go over to animate 3d now within animate 3d you can click on sign up and sign up for free and the beautiful thing about this is you can actually make 3d animations by simply using video files so you don't necessarily need to know how to make animations by yourself all you need is a simple video footage of yourself and you can simply make 3d animations and with that said once you open up an animate 3d account this will bring you right over to the page where you can see all of these beautiful things here so by default what you have is a new dashboard this dashboard deals with the animations that you have the total time of all the animations you have and custom models yes there is now a new set of custom models that you can now work with and you also have the current cycle of how many minutes animations you've already used up for the month or how many minutes of animation that you currently have and to actually get things started off we're going to go through and take a look at some new updates one of the coolest updates that they have now is you don't necessarily need to create your own 3d models you can actually make 3d models directly here so if you like to test out your motions on a 3d model before you hit the download button you can actually do that and to even help you further with that there is a 3d model maker which is the create character section and this is powered by ready player me and ready player me is made available by the folks at rove 3d and they are actually working hand in hand with deep motion to make this one possible so to get things started all you need to do is click on view my avatar and this is definitely going to load up now if you'd like to use a custom image to make your own avatar of course you'll be able to do that but if you want to simply you know build from ground up you can also do these things right here so with this here what we have is a very simple avatar so you can go 360 look at it and if you like to make some custom stuff on this avatar of course you can so let's say maybe we want to change the hair we can you know change the hair to something more you know fluffy so let's get that and maybe we'd like to you know change it to something like this you can make all the decisions that you want with a character like this and in terms of outfit you can also change the outfit of the character so let's say we'd like to change this character's outfit to be something like this or maybe you'd like to change it to something a bit more friendly something more you know stylish we can also get this one right here and once you're done if you would like to add some beards of course you can go ahead you know add all of that beard so let's say maybe we want to add some beards right here maybe just a little on this model yep we can add that beard right here and of course there is a huge range of things that you can tweak in terms of beard color if you'd like to you know change that if you'd like to also add extra props on your model you can also take advantage of this beautiful tool and create your own model once you're done click on the done button and this would automatically generate your own personal avatar so this makes a lot of sense it's more like your own personal character creator that you can work with and once it generates it you can go through and give it a name and in this case we're just going to call this character abel and with abel there we're just going to click on save and get this loading now once you're done with the naming you now have a character created now with this character created you can always take a look at it right here where you get to see the characters so you can take a look at the available characters they have and if you like to upload your own character maybe you created a character by yourself then you can also upload your own character right now now if you don't have any character you want to upload and you don't want to create a character and probably you're also looking for where you can have some already nicely made characters of course you can take a look at mixamo they do have a wide range of characters that you can pick from so all of these characters here are awesome you can pick from them and you can preview them right here and start using them now before you start working with any custom character there's a couple of things that you need to keep in mind which mixamo actually does perfectly and some of the things that you need to keep in mind includes the fact that any model that you're uploading as your custom model needs to have one root joint and you only need to upload one character at the same time for joints the joint naming needs to be unique and they need to exist without spacing and for the most part you also need your characters to be in t-pose you need to also observe the fact that these characters and the joints need to start from the origin point and you should also take into account the joint scaling and the models are supposed to be clean and that is one thing that mixamo actually has for all of its models so you can go through take a look at the models that exist with mixamo download them and you can launch them right here so we do have a character from mixamo downloaded so we're just going to throw that one in there 
and simply hit the upload button. Right now you only have access to three characters but hopefully over time this is going to expand. And with that done you would now see that we have our character uploaded and with this we can click on ok and we have the both characters right here. So right now the thumbnail is not available but you can take a look at this and of course you can see these things for yourself. So these are pretty pretty nice stuff and with this what we can do is upload a video and create animation out of it. And to do this all you need to do is go over to the new animation section and then you can simply use the default characters that exist or use a custom character now if you click on custom it will ask you to either create or select from the characters that you've made and in this case we've already made a couple of characters so we'll just simply click from the one which we've made and go over to create animation so for this one we're going to simply use the mixamo character that we have and click on next now for best result there's a couple of things to keep in mind and they deal with you know camera character placement the lighting of the shot the size occlusion and also clothing so simply take a look at these things so that you can get informed before you use your own videos so with that done the next thing which we need to do is simply click and drag a video and drop it right here so once we have this one going there is now a brand new foot locking system that exists the auto foot locking is cool you can also take a look at the always never and grounded now the foot locking deals with multi-level ground capture which has a couple of modules there is the always which is perfect for you know having stable feet on the floor and this is going to solve most of your gliding issues especially when the character is not moving too much and they also have the never never actually works better when the character is swimming or maybe the character is on air and you also get to see that we have the grounding and grounding is when a character is moving way too fast and it's actually best to use grounding when auto would probably not capture the motions very very well so in this case simply explore with all of this option read this things link is going to be in the description so you can read more about this now there is a brand new fbx frame reducer and this is very cool and there is also a brand new physics filter and in cases where you're having things like intersections for joints this option is going to prevent any form of self penetration from your joints and for those who like to export this as glb this is also something that is currently available if you're working with this and you want to export your video files afterwards also make sure you have this one turned on and right here is where you can preview the character that you are working with. Now in this case we all have all of these things ready. I'm just going to go ahead and turn on the FBX frame reducer and click on create animations. Now with this done we're going to give the animate 3D from the folks at Deep Motion a couple of minutes to upload the data and also convert this to a motion captured file. So with this ready we can now preview our animation and see what it looks like. By simply clicking on OK you'd now notice that this loads up. Let's go ahead and scale this all the way up and yes you would notice a couple of things we have a wonderful foot locking that is right here and this is that beautiful multi-level ground capture that folks at deep motion have actually incorporated into this and you can actually see that at the same time that the body tracking seems to be way way better and thinking about this this is just a motion from a simple video file and you already have an animation running right here and all it takes these days to make a simple motion capture is a mobile device and an amazing program like this that you can actually find on the web so some very cool things are right here and for sure if you like to take a look at these things i'm gonna put links in the description where you can check it out and for comparison you can see what it looks like just by default trying to capture this without the implementation of the multi-ground plane capture that deals with the foot locking and uh, this is also the kind of result that you get when you're using the desirable foot locking setting for a particular motion and once you're done previewing your animation and you'd like to download them or probably you want to check out some of the animations that you've done before simply head over to the library then right here you see all of the animations that you've done properly detailed and if you like to download any of them simply click on this button and and then click on download and once you click on download you would see three different file types that you can get you can choose to get the bvh which is just a skeletal one or you can get the fbx that comes with a full file and also the model that you used in previewing the animation in this case if you're using a custom character or maybe you're using a character that was created right here in deep motion you can actually take advantage of that or you can also download this as the open source glb file and you can use this in our case we're simply going to hit the download button for fbx and we're going to import that right into blender so with blender simply open we're downloading that and bringing that right into blender and of course you can see that we have this motion right here so we did here all of the motions that you have 
they are exactly the same thing so you can preview this you can play back you can light your scene you can do some very nice staging you know depending on what you like to do actually you can now even take advantage of this create these characters right there in deep motion using the animate 3d and also using the character creator or the character generator right there and you can now make some fantastic looking models and also drive them by making use of a simple digital camera. So beautiful things right here. The folks at Deep Motion are not only giving you these things for free, as they are also doing a Deep Motion Animate 3D contest. This contest is running from March the 25th all the way to April the 30th. So in case you want to join this, you want to create some very cool and engaging animation by simply using a video footage of yourself or maybe of a friend, then you can join join this and win some amazing prizes. The submission type is divided into two. There is a basic creation one which is for inexperienced animators and also the advanced creation is for advanced animators. There are teams to be followed and these teams deals with quarantine workout, dance the day away and also slapstick comedy. Now with that, there's also some prizes to be won and these are very mouth-watering prizes as they go from $250 all the way to $1,000. And of course, you can also see that you have certain incentives that also comes with this one. And you can also see that this is also something available for those making advanced animations. And it's just very interesting to see that with a free tool like this, you can create something and get some very wonderful prizes for yourself. And you can take a look at the contest rules, read more about these things, see what the judging criteria are, and also take a look at certain video recording guidelines just in case you want to know how to get the most while recording. And for those who would like to request more time, maybe you're working on an animation that will take way over one minute to create, then you might request for more time and this is pretty, pretty lovely. Very cool things right here. You shout out to the folks at Deep Motion for making this one possible. And of course, links to all of this is going to be in the description. So just in case you want to join the Animate 3D and win $1,000, this is going to be wonderful. If you would like to, you know, create your own Deep Motion characters and also use them for your animations, this is also something that is super, super nice. And it's also very interesting to see that Deep Motion is available for free, which means you can use this to create a one minute animation for free every single month. Meanwhile, if you're signing up for the very first time and you would like to get more than just one minute of animation, you can now get one extra minute, which would make it two by simply signing up and using the coupon code AskNK. I did reach out to the folks at Deep Motion and they were very generous enough to give us this coupon code so you can have an extra minute. Link to this is gonna be in the description and also the coupon code is also gonna be in the description. Do copy it and paste it exactly so that you can have an extra one minute while creating your animations. And this is about it. Tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section. Links to all of this is going to be in the description. So do well to check these things out. Start creating with this free tool that you can get right now from the folks at Deep Motion and also join this competition and avail yourself an amazing time of winning some of these cool prizes that can help change the way you work. Tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update. And until I see you guys again with the tutorial update, free Friday, tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.